All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We set up our swimming pool over the weekend, which is a stock tank style swimming pool for the kids. Uh, summer's finally here. This is something I did last year, and I saw it on YouTube, and I'm just gonna do my own version of it, so. Cock-a-doodle crew! Cock-a-doodle crew! Cock-a-doodle crew! <laughs> so to keep the water fresh, we need chlorine floating in the pool, and we're gonna use this bottle here, right here. So, just gonna show you nothing fancy about this, just an empty tea bottle. Got a utility knife here. We can cut this label off. Don't need that. Now I just uh, already had a bit drill bit in drill, so we're gonna Okay, got several holes in there. All right, show you the holes. We just put some holes in the cap, put several holes in the neck. Next thing is I'm gonna put a slice in the side. I'm gonna kinda of guess at the place to put it. That's about right, so we've cut a slice in the side. You can see there. And I'm doing this one a little bit different. Last year I had a Gatorade bottle. This one's a little bit smaller, but we can still make it work. So we got this big tablet, chlorine tablet here, and I got a hammer. So we're gonna make smaller chlorine tablets. Okay, so one tap of the hammer. Now I got chlorine tablets that will fit inside my bottle. So one big chlorine tablet fit in there. One issue with this style of float is if the kids are playing in the pool and they float it and they get it kind of flipped around to where it fills all the way up with water and sinks, that's not good. It's gonna rust out a spot on the bottom of your stock tank. Um, that's what happened with ours last summer. But what I like to do is just leave it floating when the kids aren't in it and then when they're in, just pull it out restock it at that time and it's no big deal because while they're in there for the 30 minutes or an hour it's no big deal to not have the chlorine in there but if it's floating the rest of the time you're all good anyway that's a simple way to make a chlorine float now we're going to see if it floats you want to try let's go all right water's already starting to be a little bit murky out here we're just gonna set this in, let it kind of start filling up with water. But since the top of the, uh, the bottle has air in it, it's gonna not sink all the way, hopefully. And there we go. The air's trapped in there and uh, can't get out. So it's got just enough buoyancy. Just enough buoyancy to stay floating. Uh, the holes in the bottle are gonna let that chemical be released. 
So anyway, stock tank pool getting set up for the year. I'll give you another video when um, when we get our pool filter in and we set up the actual uh, pump and everything. That'll be next, and um, it's not too fancy of a setup either, but stock tank pool up and running for 2021.